All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello, I am Robbie, or Rockers e Zoom, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and rant, okay? Um, a lot of people, you know, have a different description of what ranting is. I just see it as talking to a camera for however long it takes in one take, and uh, just talking their mind off. No edits, no nothing, just music, the, the, the person in the camera, and that's it, and, you know, obviously a subject. The subject we're going to talk about today is professional wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, you may think that professional wrestling is this fake sport, that the pain isn't real, and nothing is real about professional wrestling. The pain is real, okay? People die in the ring. People have died in the ring. And it's just to blow it off like it's nothing, that is blatantly ignorance, okay? What they do in that ring is incredibly t like it takes a huge toll on the human body it takes a lot out of a person to fully decide yes I want to be a pro wrestler but you have to be ready to t take at least like five or ten years off your life you know most wrestlers of the 80s had a, a lifespan of up to I believe it was like 45 was the average of, of when they would pass you know it is a shock that guy's like Hulk Hogan is alive today. Recently, this past weekend, we lost Jimmy S Jimmy Superfly Snuka. You know, uh, two years ago at this point, R Rowdy Roddy Piper passed away from a heart attack. You know, but he he had so many difficulties. Jake the Snake Roberts currently has cancer. Uh, all, all these you know all these things can't be linked back to professional wrestling in its in itself. But when it comes down to it, this does take a toll on your body. Any professional wrestler right now can tell you that. Especially a guy like Kenny Omega, especially a guy like Kuzisuka Okada, who completely killed it at Wrestle Kingdom 11. Guaranteed though, that match could have easily ended one of their lives. They put their life on the line when they go out in that ring. And it's so sad to see that so many people see this as just, oh, it's just fake, nothing, the pain isn't real. Kuzichka Okada landed on his neck at least three times. Kenny Omega kicked him in the forehead at least 10 times. Kenny Omega landed on his neck at least 3 times, probably more. And even Kenny Omega landed through a table where the metal bar, it's not a prop table, the metal bar on on his neck did not break, did not bend. He just went through the table and his neck hit the metal bar. That is real pain, ladies and gentlemen. That is what real pain is, and you cannot refute it. Pain in professional wrestling is a real thing. The storylines are, of course, fabricated. The storylines are, of course, uh, faked in a way, so that you, you, know, you, you get a story out of it. That's what professional wrestling does compared to a UFC or an MMA. Basically, story is what keeps me going in WWE, in professional wrestling as a whole. I love storytelling. I love to tell a story. That's one of my favorite passions that I love to do. And whenever I get to the, get the chance to witness professional wrestling to tell a story in the ring, absolute beauty. You know, when you get to see classics like Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker. Again, Kuzichika Okada versus Omega. Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles. Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. Finn Balor vs. Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn vs. Kevin Owens. All of these rivalries tell a phenomenal story in the ring, and there's no doubt about it. When it comes down to professional wrestlers, they sacrifice so much to, to be on our television screens, to be on YouTube, to be in the world of professional wrestling, and I respect every one of them. I respect every single one of them, no matter how much I dislike them. Because I could never, ever make that sacrifice. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for the rant. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please leave a like down below, down below show your support, comment down below. Uh, what's your take on professional wrestling? What, what was your take on what I said in this video? Subscribe for more great content. Also, subscribe to my channel. I'll also be in the link down below. Um, and that's about it. So, have a damn good day. And uh, peace.